what we'll be looking what, to do next year to and how, get sponsors. And I, I like now that you've got um, you've got the free registration, but you also have options that people can pay a bit and get something. But presumably, that's going into helping. How is that uh, that working? It, it, it's worked out all right. We sold. Yeah. I think we sold almost all the T-shirts. Yeah. We sold okay. all the Good. patches. Yeah. Uh, there was an option just to donate and get nothing. Yeah. I think like 12 people chose that option. Oh wow! Okay. So yeah. Uh, and then I the rest the, was. I took the T-shirt down. And then like, <laughs> that's why I come to podcast. Right? <laughs> so it, it yeah. works out well. It doesn't generate very much. Like maybe a thousand dollars worth of net okay. from it. Okay. Okay. So yeah. I, I know it's one of you have set points, but here's my kind of question is, and, and again, you know, we're, we are blessed because we have access to our and, and, and it's Toronto, so there are places to get coffee and all that, so, so we do have a situation here. But to talk to that, like, what's the minimum that we would actually need to run a pod camp in this building? Bear, like, uh, what was the minimum the one year where we had no money? The low, low one. It was about less than $5,000, but that was okay. the Absolutely. That's no, no, no. But that's what I'm curious about. Like, so that's the no floor, coffee, right? yeah. no extra Again. rooms, no, 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 no. Because, because no party. Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. But that's okay, right? But that's that's sort of the question. So that's if that's the uh, floor. No free party. Right. Well, that's right. the thing, right? Yeah. I mean, the, you know, the imperial. You know, you guys don't pay for anything there, right? On the Friday night, we didn't pay. No, anything. right. And I mean, everybody has a great time. And nobody goes, oh my god, they didn't buy us free drinks at the imperial. Yeah. Whatever. But 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 I'm just curious because because I think. You know, to, to Eden's idea or any other ideas, just to have a sense of what the floor would be, right? So if that's how you're going to do it, and you set a floor of, of five thousand dollars, could you get five thousand dollars out of that idea? Yeah, maybe. I think so. Like you know, or whatever yeah. else, right? So that, I, I'm just kind of trying to set it in that in those terms. So as we're talking about it, then we kind of all know what we're talking about. How many people did we have here this year? I think we had something like eight hundred registrations, maybe seven hundred, and mm -hmm. I think four hundred showed up last time I looked. Okay, so even if we charge like yeah. ten, twenty bucks. Person, that's yeah. There, there is a reason we've surveyed on that question. If you would come to Pod Camp if we paid, and there was a huge negative reaction. Yeah. Like you you we would it. probably lose half the audience for sure. But then you only get half the attendance. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe only that's the half that's really poor are the ones that would pay anyway. Yeah, yeah. and I think it's a discussion we'd have to have with Ryerson too because right. I think they're interested in their students being able to come, so we'd have to. Yeah, and there's the there's a lot of two feet. Right? There's okay. the law of two hands, so helping out. Yep. And there's the law of your own wallet. Yeah. Right? It's okay. Yeah. Well just yeah, just on that point. Just on that point, there's also the law of two days. If there's a floor, yeah. Saturday is the floor. Yeah, that's fair. That's a good point. It doesn't uh, cost us any extra to run Sunday. Uh well that being said, there's still people, there's still timing, there's okay. people going, Well, I can come on Saturday. My my personal schedule precludes Sunday. Mm -hmm. Whatever the reasons are. So Having a session on a Sunday, I can't make it on the Sunday. So if there's a floor between yeah, Saturday and a Sunday between one day, sure. it, the law of two days, it's the Saturday. Yeah, sure. um, but uh, just to return to an earlier point is uh, the United Nations, I, for a completely other part of my life, um, they put on uh, forums and things, but they don't charge because it's the UN. They're not supposed to charge. One way that they figured out something is they call them side events outside of the venue, but close enough walking distance, literally sometimes across the street, a big corporate sponsor, a university, the country, another country will do that. What's, what does the UN get out of it? Uh, they say, we will include your listing in our official program. So that may be a way to get into, and they literally call them official side events, and you have to apply in money and... Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, like um, uh, Blocker. Oh, really? Is that what happened to Blocker? Well, that's one of the problems. Mm -hmm. I was there two years ago at the time. That was one of the things that killed it. There were these side events that became, there were side events that were official, and then there became all these unofficial ones because sponsors thought, I can spend $5,000 uh -huh. or $10,000 uh -huh. and do my own event. I'll pop in for a day and sneak out before the event just pissed off at me. And then I was on the trade floor with people, and we weren't getting the conference we were getting all these people oh, okay. around the area. Yeah. Except I can pay 50 bucks to get in and get all kinds of free shit if I hang out on the trade floor for an hour or 25 bucks or whatever. And we weren't getting the real conference attendees. And eventually, like, it helped him. I think blogs are still around, but it's not what it used to be. And it imploded for a year because this had been going on for two or three years and they had trouble getting the real yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
So uh, we, you had on the sign up the sort of donation track. Has there been any consideration to maybe before PodCamp doing some kind of like crowdfunding campaign? Yeah, so that's, another, that's another thing. Oh, so you. crowdfund specifically for the party or, or, or something or like that. Or like, because there's enough individuals here that may chip in, yeah. you know, throughout the year to make this happen. Like, I would rather. It's important to me that PodCamp is free, and I would rather pay money so that it can be free, free yeah. but yeah. not yeah. to make yeah. it a ticket, you know? Yeah. That's kind of why I, I did the, yeah, the Yeah, whatever. that's why I bought a t-shirt and all that, yeah, because, exactly. because I said, yeah, I know where that money's going. But do you have any people but outside of this group are paying for that stuff? Like, yeah. I know all yeah. about most it, of This is the group that's donated. Yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> Sure, but that's but that's all we kind of like, and that, and that probably can't be the only thing. But, but, but that could be part the, of it. The, right? the psychology of it changes when you do a campaign. Like, I, there's a, a guy I contributed to his Patreon like the last year and a yeah. half or whatever, and he used to have just a blog with like a PayPal donation thing on the bottom, and it, he had, it, he wrote these tutorials for programming, and the rule was when. You know, every time I get to X number in donations, I'll do a new article. Yeah. And I would go back to his blog, and no one was donating. I wasn't donating because no one was donating, and there were no new articles. And then Patreon came out, and he changed. Yeah. yeah. He changed the way that it worked, <laughs> and it sort of in your head it changed. The the, the it wasn't you weren't just yeah. throwing into a PayPal yeah. donation thing. It was like its own campaign, and, mm. and now he gets you know X uh, money per month, and we get a Is new anybody using month. Patreon for conferences? Yeah. But but the but the crowd I was just gonna talk the crowdfunding model, because crowdfunding model is kinda what you did with the t shirts anyway. Yeah. So it's really just those are your incentives on the on the crowdfunding and that sets yeah. your level. I mean you almost like you almost can't you can't almost did that, right? Yeah, I guess so. In a way, right? Yeah. So so I think that, you know, is an opportunity and I don't know but I but I think I think that there's a ceiling on that that you probably close to hit already. So you're right, these are the people that are gonna do that. And you know, maybe a few more people who want a t shirt, I don't know. But, yeah. I, I'm just wondering just because uh, and I don't wanna you know, it's not like open your books or whatever, but uh, you were saying, well, we have to have a book. Yeah, no, no, no. They sure, but you were saying, yeah, but I mean, I've been an organizer and I've, I've seen enough of this. I don't want to see enough right now. No, no, no. Just going to ask the question. Yeah. But you're saying that the, the, the space initially was, was provided by Ryerson, right? Yeah. Is that still the case? Yep, and we pay about 2K for the large rooms at the end of the hall on the second floor. Okay. Which we haven't always used. No, sometimes but, we use them, sometimes we yeah. don't. It depends on you know what we sort of think is going to be the So we can scale yeah, up. Like, uh, as opposed to, like, I, it just, I, I guess it was, Shocked, and you wouldn't believe what happened next. But um, <laughs> the uh, the five K number is it, it, actually jarring to me. Like, if the space, I mean, take out those two rooms, you're down to three K. Mm, I don't know. Did we have, right? I don't know if we had those rooms when we did the five K year. So, like, I mean, like, I'm just wondering, what, what, what is that five K? Like, what is, what is it? Uh, what is it? Uh, five, um, you have to pay for security, <coughs> okay. uh, for rentals, for like the chairs and stuff. Chairs. There's some okay. Stuff. Yeah. Audio equipment. Oh, okay, so there's uh, rentals and all that. There's still there's still costs associated with the building. The space yeah. is technically yeah. free, but there's other things. Okay. Right? Yeah, they, they have a core set of rooms that, that RTA controls that they yeah. can build. They'll give. Right. And I think there's and less. And I, is, is over and I think there's less now than there used to be because we used to get a lot. I feel like we got more rooms for free. Well, yeah, I think there's, there's another room on the side of the wall that's just full of computers that we don't use. That's, now, yeah, that's not. Yeah, 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 there's yeah, a couple yeah. rooms that have been reconfigured that no longer are really viable for sessions. Yeah. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I really think it's time to get rid of the free food and the free beer. Yeah. You're going to say that? What? See, well, you can't say it. it. This can say every it. It's time. Harasses it's time. me all year so until the next already. podcast. I like, I want the party. It's but the food, food, if the kitchen was open, people would order what they want, yeah, and they'd be really happy. There's yeah. no need for everybody racing up. It's a yeah. big fest. It's just get rid of it. Yeah, it's not needed. Yeah. The issue for the Rams is we have to have a minimum amount, amount of expenditure there, because they're not open on Saturdays. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. But if they're, look, so one, have drink, have one drink ticket yeah. might get people yeah. in, free beer. The prices are so <coughs> cheap there anyway. It's a fabulous place. The idea yeah. is just to get enough people. They, to, to to they, they may not open if you don't have a minimum spend, but there's it's Trump, but There's lots if, of bars. If, I mean, yeah. if at the very least, if it doesn't make the number, they, yeah, yeah. enough money from beer sales, then PodCamp has to contribute, make up the difference. But I'm sure you can easily do it from people going in. They have a good selection of beer, like wine. Yeah, 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 I mean, Rick can probably yeah. speak to that better because he's the finance guy. Well, I mean, I, I think people will go, people will realize it's a great party. Yeah. Yeah. This is still, I think, it's really important to have that yeah. gathering at the right. pub. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, but it's, don't need the food. Don't need what all the food. What is the minimum here. spend? Do you know? Do you know? It, uh, I think they have to spend like two thousand or twenty-five hundred. Twenty-five to ten thousand. So that's that's fifty percent of that. Okay. You know. 
five k, right? So no, the viewer five k no, 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 no. didn't have a party. That's no party. Oh, okay. Five k is five k is to open the rooms and get people here. Yeah, right? that's, is there not that's a legion or something around? Sorry, what? Is there not a legion or something around? There's tons. It's Toronto. There's tons of places yeah. you can get for free. Like, like, if you want it, there's, like, there's, well, there's, there's most legion halls will throw like yeah, yeah. There, there, there's, there, there is. Bar. There's lots of places. There's lots of places yeah. walking distance yeah. from here. I can give you a list of places. Okay. Roof. A bar. Do you want a list of bars? Between me and between me and Ken, we got a list. We got a list of bars. I was gonna say, I mean, the challenge is the challenge. Upstairs. Yeah. There's lots of places. I mean, the challenge is Toronto. A lot of the bars want a deposit or a minimum. Yeah, and I because I have for other things I try yeah, to think about. Yeah, they have to pay a staff to be there and do yeah. stuff, so they want to make money. Yeah, like, right. that's what they're there for. They yeah. make money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if and we weren't downtown, it wouldn't yeah. be the case. But yeah. it's just but yeah. but that said, there's there's places that if you. Give them a reservation and give them a, a, a sort of round number. And maybe maybe you have to buy some food or maybe you have to do something. But they'll, yeah. they're like, say what would do that. Uh, um, I, I remember well, we the, had the first party at say what. Right, and say what, and that didn't cost anything. I remember the first year or two though. We'd say we're just going to show up or we'll try to book a room, and they wanted a deposit. So I used to go and like camp out early at a bar to try and get space. Right, and then we would cram like. 30 people into a space for 12 people. <laughs> was well, that was, <coughs> yeah. that, that was actually part of my my uh, my little 09 meltdown was about like parties and space and, and all of that. And and remember I basically just said, I'm going to go and get chicken wings at St. Louis. And if you want to come have chicken wings with me, I can come and have chicken wings with me. And if you, <laughs> if you don't, go somewhere else. But that was, and I put that on the wiki, right? And then we started all doing that. Like all the organizers were doing little things. And I mean, that's kind of cool too. Like it doesn't have to be everybody in the room together at all times. There can be other things that can happen, right? And yeah. the Imperial, you know what, the Imperial is great. I mean, you can go up to the Imperial and I'm, they're, why not go there on Saturday as well? Like whatever, I mean, there's, there's. We've, you know, we've asked them if they would have us on Saturday and they were they not might, happy oh, right. with having us there. Because okay. it would be too many people for the space. We'd be like, sure. we just take it over. Yeah. Probably wouldn't be paying them any money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, if people remind me here, but, uh, but uh, anyway, there's places, I, I think that could be worked yeah. out too. I mean, I think that could all be worked out. Because well, we didn't really have a party. I mean, the RAM works yeah. perfectly. It's walking this, but, but it's, it's cold. There's a minimum. There's, there's a minimum. minimum. But you, we could make that, I'm sure you could make that. Yeah. Uh, maybe. The problem is, they can't really chance it. You have to commit yeah, because people show up expecting free food, and now you're charging them, so you don't know if they're going to charge you to show up. So are you going to pay 25 Listen, that can... Finding a place to, for people to buy beer can be solved. Yeah, I guarantee it. One, one of the one of the things okay. a friend of mine did, or he organized a, it was a, like a community political event at the Transact, mm -hmm. and he set up a Twitter bar. They had to they had to reach a certain num number of bar sales. So in order to help reach that, he set up a Twitter account where they could order drinks from the bar on Twitter and have it delivered. They had numbers on the table. That's my business model. <laughs> Christ. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. That's what I should be doing. Yeah. Uh, write that down. Time, every, time, every time he had the mic in his hand, he was just like, uh, remember Twitter bar? Remember Twitter bar. Order more drinks. <laughs> so people are just getting hammered at this uh, community political uh, discussion event with like Adam was there speaking. And like, yeah. Yeah, so. so yeah, I think. Uh, to bring it back into yeah. Our team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like for our team, like we don't really have any interaction with any of the people that started PodCamp, and it doesn't seem like anyone is maintaining PodCamp anymore. Like they don't have a website with like the rules listed on it. Yeah. The wiki isn't wow. like maintained. It's hard to find. Wow. I, I don't think there's anyone steering the ship really. So. There's still Whitney. Whitney, Whitney, yeah, Whitney would know. Whitney would know. Whitney, Whitney would be. Yeah. So Whitney Hoffman would be the person who would know, and Whitney yeah. still. <laughs> she was. She was liking stuff on Facebook last night, she's still paying attention to some level. And 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 anyone who knows Whitney, she's great. She's like if you called if you called her up and said, I'm John from Toronto doing podcast, she'll you'll talk with her. We can connect you for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So so she's been to, to Toronto Podcast. Yeah, she was the first times. couple of years yeah. 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 She's still like a council for the foundation, right? For, for yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so there is a foundation. So this is like I, I think a lot of people don't even know. So there's a legal entity, yeah. podcast whatever, uh, yeah, Pugham Foundation, and it's it's her, Berman, and Penn, I think, right? Yeah. Are the officers of it, and yeah, it's something. And I mean, I guess it's an American thing versus whatever, I don't even know. She's a lawyer, too, so she could tell me that part of it. Or, she's a lawyer, or she's yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, And so, yes, I mean, that would be a question uh, to say, what's going on with PodCamp, and is it, like, and, and is it able, 
is there a room to change something? Or is there like, oh, is there space to Because it's been static since, yeah. what, what so, 2010? Yeah. So as a legal entity, there were certain requirements to be able to use the plot camp yes. and, and model. Um, and they I'm changed sure them really nilly, but that's just my yeah. opinion. <laughs> well, 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 there's kind of some looseness in there, yeah. but, um, but uh, yeah, so to use the name, we've had to uh, comply with certain things. One of them is having the books open, so if you want to see the finances, you can see the finances, that sort of thing. But one of them was being free. <coughs> but they, one of them they was being that. free, and they, they, just paid, they just paid that out when it was annoying to them. Yeah. I'd still, I'd still kind of, I'm still kind of pissed off about that. I read that really carefully. There was technically nothing that said you couldn't charge for it. It was just the expectation of most people that it would be. Well, I, but I think it was when they incorporated it as a, as a legal entity that they didn't put it in, but they put it in the rules. So I, I'm, yeah. sure, I'm sure you're right. I'm yeah. not a lawyer, and I don't play lots of things. So. Yeah, I looked, believe me, I went over that agreement a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah that Maybe was, that brings up a point, is that um, the event here still has momentum, but it still exists. I'm not, you know, you guys are the branding experts. And, and Maybe you know if if something about podcast at this point doesn't fit what ha what's happening here, oh, maybe don't. not calling it podcast is a solution because then you can do what you need to do for Toronto and for for the audience that's here and not be bound by rules that were written ten years ago in Boston at a bar. Yeah. Uh, that that maybe don't apply. Pen actually yeah. said that. Pen said that in the past about about podcasts. If they don't want to be like podcasts, they can call something else. But then it becomes a new event, and then it kind of feels like we've got to start. Well, it could be the you know the event formerly known as podcast. Right. <laughs> like, that, like, that, like we're the band formerly known as Uncle Sad. Yeah. So, <laughs> and, and, and you know what? I don't think that the foundation isn't going to come after anybody at this point, right? Yeah. yeah. No. It doesn't sound like so. it. Yeah. So it's, Podcast Toronto is its own thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I guess we're more worried about people like yourself coming after us if we change something that's not in the rules. Well. So I'm like, you'll be the first people to call us out on it. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, not a that's just the... I say, like, I, I'm, not, I'm hearing a lot of like complicated solutions and me working and everything, but I, I wanted to suggest like, sort of, to, I want to say two things. Like, I'm not sure about the linear nature of complaints. If you charge five dollars, you maybe get a lot of complaints. If you charge ten dollars, you get even more. But maybe if you charge fifty dollars, you get no complaints. Because you get a different type of person who's not like a nickel dime pinching cheap person. Right? I'll complain about fifty dollars. Yeah. I, I'm, saying we don't, I, I'm not an event organizer, but if you ask yeah. the yeah. conference organizer, they could tell you what is the level of paying that has the fewest complaints. And if you yeah. charge 300 bucks, you probably get zero complaints because you get like CEO people. Oh, no, 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 that's, that's yeah, true. Yeah. Then, you, then you really change the nature of the event, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and $50, yeah. it's funny you yeah. mentioned $50 because well, $50 whatever. was the amount, no, no, but it's funny you mentioned that specific number because that was the number that PodCamp, Boston PodCamp recharged. Yeah. And that did change the nature of their event. And I think, I, didn't, I actually didn't go to Boston after that, but I know talking to people, it's like, yeah, it's really different now. It's probably well, the business. I wanted to, the other point I wanted to make is that we live in an online world. We all know online. We have spam problems, right? For example, Apple charges $100 for the death program a year. They, they, they do it to avoid people like frivolously signing up for developer accounts. They don't need the $100. Yeah. The fact that we have 800 people who sign up and 500 people show up is a spam problem. It's not right. Those people should be showing up, I think. I don't it's think it's kind of spam. Chaotic. No, I think people ah, intend to, but that's it's sort of a reality of human nature. It's like Facebook, too. Like, you yeah. sign up for any sort of Facebook event. It has, like, 20% of the people show up. Yeah. yeah. And, and, that's and, the nature and, of online events. And it's, and but it's, if you charge money, it's yeah. a spam problem. It's involved, also human right? nature. You know, it's like, oh, well, I've got these other things happening. We're all really busy. And this thing took over, and it's like, I can't make it. You know, like. Well, That's and I, I will go back to my oldest argument, which is who the hell cares how many people actually show up, yeah. as long as they're here and engaged. Like, yeah. like now, I, I get it for room planning and for some of that stuff, but at a level, like, you got to have a certain number of rooms and a certain number of sessions. So, and, and, and I mean, this was my, again, right back to my frustration with 09, which was people were frightened about the number of people that we were going to break down the Rogers Communication Center or something. I don't know. I just, to this day, I don't kind of understand it. But... And then it wasn't that many, and people were pissed off because it wasn't as many. I, I, I don't get all of this. Like, it's like, let the thing be what it's going to be. Because nobody really cares other than the people who are organizing it. Nobody's looking around with 300 people here who wasn't involved in organizing this thinking it's a failure or a success or whatever based on that. That's coming from marketing and from other places. Now, I get that there's, there's other pressures on sponsorship and organization, things like that. But I think those can be managed. I feel like that, I just feel like that's an artificial yeah. thing of, 
we got to have a number and know what the number is. And if we don't know what the number is, uh, what's going to happen? There have been podcasts with 11 people. Oh, it's it's right. It's 12 yeah. people. How many did you have in London? Oh. Yeah, more. It turned out well. Was it well? Was it that hot big? Yeah, even okay. the first year was like 200. Oh, was that big? I thought, I thought it was under 100 the first year. Yeah. Podcast no, Michigan, no, though, where it's like 20 people, though. But that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, I might be thinking Ottawa was 11 people. Yeah. Ottawa was small. Ottawa was a small. Ottawa was a small. Ottawa was a small. That's what I'm saying. Michigan was like, what, 35, 40 people? Okay. But, yeah. it was, but I'm thinking Ottawa. We actually left. Yeah. We, we did walk in. Well, we went to a breakout room and started drinking. <laughs> well, if, if I can suggest, if I can suggest something, there's another model in the city that we can at least look at. Uh, the festival of festivals, which becomes TIFF, and it's evolved. So earlier uh, in the discussion, when you're talking about uh, the the floors, one of the floors is the calendar. So this moment in February, you can change. We can change the name. We're still going to come. We'll still participate. Yeah. So nobody remembers that TIFF at year 41 yeah, yeah. in year zero was yeah. the Festival of Festivals, yeah. and it was a one-off thing. And it's, I remember the, the tickets used to be $2, yeah. and you lined up, and they sold you these little photocopies, and it's like, yeah. I could photocopy that. And they, they were just like homebrewing it, making it up, like right? Small, right? Um, and it is to where it is now. Uh, so if it's something else, uh, in 2017, then that's year 11 of whatever it is. Uh, if it's not here, we're still going to meet whatever and we'll figure it out. But that's got to be a little bit organic, right? That's not going yeah, to yeah. happen. That's not happen from 16 to 17. Correct. Oh, well, I hope not. But uh, well, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think you could. I don't think you could force it, and I don't think you could evolve that. But to your point, yeah, it, 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 it could and maybe should evolve, or. Or maybe not. I mean, I, I get your, I get your. Kind like of point. festival, festivals used to be at at uh, um, Bloor, like uh, Yorkville. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then the theaters are gone, and they migrated sure. south. And yeah, yeah well, and, and things can move and change for sure. But but uh, but the, I guess I guess the question is, is is that a, it, what's is there a pressure on a need to change it? What I, I, I get what you're solved? I get what you're saying because because that's a. That's a giant, huge success story, and it's kind. I feel like it's kind of rare. It's like a Toronto little, story. Yeah, most little. It's a Toronto story, but it's not. Lots of there's lots of grassroots festivals in Toronto that didn't become mm -hmm. didn't become TIFF, right? There's lots of grassroots festivals everywhere that didn't become TIFF. There's a lot of unconferences that didn't become PodCamp. Well, yeah, but Pod, okay, well, well, but let's okay, but let's let's talk about. I mean, PodCamp isn't a giant success story in the sense of having grown and grown and grown and grown or having. It, the, the, the only the only giantness of the success story of PodCamp writ large for me is that at one point, like I said, there was a PodCamp every week, and that's kind of contracted. And maybe that'll happen again because it sounds like there's there's more PodCamps happening again in the last couple of years. But that's so that's about PodCamp the movement overall, right? And that again, I think will happen organically because if somebody in Nairobi wants to start a PodCamp, awesome, right? And and. We don't really have much influence on that or anything other than to say, hey, that's awesome, guys. Uh, if, if Toronto changes or if the area <coughs> places around Toronto change, if it's in Hamilton or London or somewhere else, the people in this room are the people who are going to imp impact that in some way. And I guess the question is, what's the problem we're solving there? Is it, is it that we need more little pot camps or one big pot? Like, I, I think we've got to kind of look to our own needs. And I don't know that it needs to... I, the t I, I get the TIFF analogy at a level, but at another level, I'm like, yeah, but if PodCamp became TIFF, I wouldn't no, it, care. Just, you know to, I mean? like, just to look at it. It's just another story that that's what yeah, they yeah, did. Yeah. Is there it's something good, we can There was a get continuity it. beyond the name, I think, is what you're trying to say. Yeah. 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 Silly thing, but you have a database of all these people who registered for the event, right? Why don't you do a survey on survey month? Take some of the ideas that are here, ask the community what yeah. the community wants, then you don't have to do what they've asked, but as a committee, you can sit back and use that for points of discussion. Well, yeah, that's you should. You, you want to report the results, or, but you can sit back and look at what they've done that seems viable. That yeah, that's, that's what we do every year. Like the town hall we have at the end of every year, that's sort of a way to gain feedback. And we do send out a survey where people you know, complain about certain things, and we try to address that. But There's yeah, you're biased to that, and also, like, what, <coughs> what do you, what is, Oh, please. I really don't give a shit what most of those people have to say. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the 30 opinions in this room matter, I think, far more than the results of that fucking survey because these people, like, people here are the ones that did it forever. We're the founders. Yeah. You know, we're the founders.
founding of that community. Well, there's other people that, because I'm not going to, well, for starters, I'm not going to get the survey, and I'm not going to respond to the survey. Well, I mean, I might, because, but, but because I, 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 I want to skew it a little bit. I do feel though that I do feel uh, that, that, that's actually what I'm saying is I, I for the most part I think for most of those I, I've I've actually sent out some of those surveys and stuff. Okay. For the most part, like that's not what I wanted. That's not what what I think the core real like the real diehards for podcast. Well, that, they're not responding but is to that. For the diehards, or is it for the for the? I told John on Friday night. I'm like, fuck everybody else. Just do it the hell that, that <laughs> we do. Just, I said, go back to what we used to do back in 2009. <laughs> and if, if it's us and 100 people, at least it'd be the us and 100 people that we all like show up. I don't. I really don't want the other people. I would. I would. I would. I would sort of agree with that, but I would say it a little differently. Which is, I think what I, I feel like what happens with that survey is you don't get big ideas. You get small ideas. You get people saying you should have a coffee. More free beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I like the idea in principle, kind of, but I kind of agree with what Bill's saying, which is the people who really care, we're going to hear from. You know what I mean? And the people who, the people who are going to respond to that survey with, with like, you know, where was the t, you know, t-shirt was the wrong color and that kind of stuff. Like, I feel like that's. Well, you're going to ask those kind of questions. Yeah, no, no, no. But I think if you're trying to ask big questions. I think the thing is, you have to decide, and it's not clear If you ask people, yeah, fair enough. If you ask people in the survey. You want to pay twenty dollars to come next year? They're going to say no. no. But if you just charge twenty dollars next year, I think everybody in this room would come. A lot of people would come. It would solve a lot of the problems. It's a bam. It's there. There'll be a party that night. You'll get one drink. And part of my point cares. is, like, as but order, let people pay the twenty bucks. That's nothing. And people would come. And you'd know the numbers who paid. You're going to be closer to those, that number. It'd be easier to book the rooms. You could charge at the door of thirty dollars or somebody. Uh, sure the you could give it free to Ryerson students if they insist on that. Well, I'm sure your survey question said, "Here for next year, because of the funding situation, here are two options: we're going to have sponsored sessions, or you can pay twenty bucks and there's no sponsored sessions. Guess where that's going to go? Twenty bucks, sessions. absolutely. So there's, no, there's no. Everybody's going to say, "Well, here's my twenty bucks." Yeah. Yeah. Here's, a, here's a curious part: as, as an organizer, they actually have interest. That's an interesting a, question. Yeah. But as an organizer, you get to set up a framework for how you what you think will, will give a conference that you want. You get to yeah. choose that as an organizer. Mm -hmm. And if somebody doesn't like it, they get two options, not come, or start, or there's no reason you can't. Somebody couldn't have another podcast for or, or another event of any sort. But, we're, we're, but we're, I feel like as we're saying all this stuff, we're, we're like taking too much ownership. And, and it goes back to the original premise for me, you which is, we should be, well, yeah, no, we don't. And, and it should be self-organizing, and there should be a level of, I, I'd like to get back to that part of it, and get back to the part of it where, where the people who show up just do the thing that they want to do. And, and I think, like that to me again is, the, again, I think the floor is, you get enough rooms for people to do the shit that they want to do and they show up and do it. And if they don't want to do the things that we defined 10 years ago, good. Like that's, the world has to change, that's right? The is bitching about all of the other things and we're not getting any of that. Hey, the, the other, the, sorry, the, the other thing I think is really important is that um, I haven't, I know you guys might have heard some negative stuff. I have not heard a single negative thing about what's been going on um, here. And the, the negative things always have a, huge, um, a hugely disproportionate weight to the, yeah. to the yeah. good that you guys are doing. Yeah. So yeah. just, yeah. you know, yeah. no, haters, haters gonna hate, right? Um, so you guys, this, this has been awesome, so. I think that it boils down to the community. Is it the people making decisions or are you larger group and then that'll help guide how you decide to do that. Everybody should go make decisions somehow, but I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. They ran out of milk yesterday way too early. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> In the that's, I'm that's, kidding. That's, I'm kidding. that's success. That is success. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm more so joking yeah, about yeah, it yeah, because yeah, we all need coffee when you guys come here early at 6. You know, of course. I work for com for companies that sponsor a lot of these events, and we get like fifty thousand requ requ uh, requests a day. Uh, a day. Some of the companies, some of the events, ask me, "Oh, can you give us twenty five thousand dollars?" Okay, but I need like six months in advance. When you had the, uh, I spoke yesterday, I had the room full. I I, I love it. Everybody uh, uh, was happy. But when it was the si on the 16th, it was the deadline when you guys decided to schedule or something to a lot of uh, sponsoring companies that plan a year in advance, saying if yeah. you have $25,000, I'm going to give you something. If you give me the full, if you give me the full details, 
five days before, four days before. It's going to be impossible. So, you know, a work camp has a work camp central. Who they, these are the roles play with them. You know, pod camp seems more de what's the word, decentralized. It's, it's meant to be an unconference. Ah. And originally, so it was basically, um, I mean, we did some organizing <laughs> in advance <laughs> of sessions. But literally, if Saturday night you got talking and said, why is there no session on RSS feed? Sunday, you all the time. Yeah, she's doing sessions like all the time. It was meant to be open. Yeah. Saturday, yeah. Saturday night, yeah. Saturday night, yeah. Saturday night yeah. Sunday morning, this is, right? Yeah, this yeah. is what I love about Puckham. Yeah. Honestly, it's yeah. one, of, totally. one of my favorites. And yeah. I actually, on the way here, I got a speeding ticket because I wanted to be in the, on the first session was speeding a bit too much. <laughs> uh, but to a lot of the sponsors that can give you the money and whatever, yeah. like, I think it was you but who said right. uh, it uh, Tim Hortons doesn't care if you guys have free coffee. Yeah. Yeah, like but sometimes it's too, it's too, what's, so th th things yeah. oh, last minute. Yeah. If I was in one of the, my previous employer, yeah. they would want to know everything because a hundred percent by September yeah. of 2015. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know? Yeah. Do you know what's you know what's so funny? Of course, yeah. and of course, this is me saying this. Yeah. Of course, well, it is. I, I I felt like I feel like it's way too organized now. I want to go back to that crazy wiki and yeah. to all that stuff, and that's just me because I'm I like I love the chaos of it. I'm not seriously yeah. upset, but I was a little bummed, and I understand how we had you guys had yeah. to change how the the sessions were scheduled or whatever. But I was a little bummed out when it's like, oh, we're gonna submit a, submit a form and go through this this yeah. process that doesn't allow for what I said yeah. what I used to do, where it's planning yeah. it on yeah. Sunday yeah. or Saturday night, yeah. Yeah. and I, it's. It was so, a necessity, I understand, so, but it did kind of bum me out. So just it? like how we used to do it was we had a wiki, and you, we had slots, and you put in shit, and then Connie and I would spend the oh rest of our God. day reformatting the wiki, because it all break. <laughs> <laughs> and that was our, and that was our lives, yeah. and it was, and, 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 you know, I would alternate between laughing and crying, because I loved the, just seeing shit show up. Yeah. And yeah, you and Virgil really? were two guys that I remember always would, would be like, Virgil was, the, Virgil was the best for this. You'd be talking to Virgil on Saturday night, but Virgil would go, and he would like, and he would have, I remember he did this at Say What once, because we had Wi-Fi, and he went in and he's like, I'm doing a session on that tomorrow at 9, or 10, whatever. And it's like, okay. <laughs> like, there's that's there's a way, actually, there's a way to accommodate what both sides Systems. need. Yeah, yeah. And so in, in Drupal, um, in the Drupal camps yeah. and stuff, we have a Birds of a Feather session. And oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, basically, yeah. They're, they're dedicated slots in the, um, uh, in the conference schedule to basically yeah, allow yeah. for the sort of stuff to happen. I like that. So you yeah. just, it, you pick you know, one, one sort of uh, block each day to do birds of a feather, because I, I could have done one on you know, how, we set up our, yeah. uh, how we set up our cooperative co-working space, and there's all sorts of ways that you can apply this into and they you know, did what's that going at, on And they here. did that at ASCE, which is the American uh, 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 Association Management Conference, and that's a giant, giant conference. They yeah. did like, they have like 25,000 yeah. people at that conference, and they did some boss sessions, and they were great. Yeah. They and were a, great. a lot of big conferences yeah. are also incorporating <coughs> unconference type sessions yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're well, hugely it was, popular. It was a couple of years, but we had far more rooms than we, we actually had people yeah. proposing sessions, so there were empty rooms, and it was like people just showed up and did things. Yeah, totally. Yeah, we just all sat around. Yeah, yeah. The very first year, I think, I arrived, and it was like, I, I want to learn about Yahoo Pipes. No one is talking about Yahoo Pipes. And I grabbed somebody. Yeah, somebody I, mentioned they right. knew all about it, and I'm like, can you do a session on that tomorrow? And I was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Was, it, yeah. was it Will? Was it you? Well, was it you? Yeah, of course it was you. Of course it was you. Will was the one guy that kept everything. Of course it was you. He was the user. Well, and then I was using the user. He's still the only guy who doesn't have a question. Unfortunately, I have to run, guys. I have a volunteer uh, shift I have to get to. Oh, yeah? So Bye. Going. We'll miss you. Yes. Bye. Bye. Thank you. 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 Have fun. What time is it? It's 12.47. Yeah. It's lunch. OK. What lunch is it free? <laughs> I was told there'd be something. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, I don't know if everybody knows this because I, I don't, I don't think it. Like I was talking to people last night, it's like all those sandwiches got wasted one year. And I'm like, yeah. no, those sandwiches didn't get wasted. Me, Julian, and Brogan took them to to Second Harvest, and I think that got lost in the stories somewhere. But but none of those sandwiches got thrown out. So just if anyone was worried about the sandwiches in 2008 that they got thrown out, they didn't get thrown out. They went to some hungry guys at Second Harvest. So just so everybody knows that, I'm just clearing the record there. You know what? They won't take it anymore. No, now they won't. Now they won't, yeah.